The Romance of Selling by Worswick. Worswick. Sincerity, ambition, loyalty, enthusiasm, smiles, making friends, affability, neatness, service, head work, interest, perseverance. What does that spell? Salesmanship spells success. Courtesy. If I passed, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> if I possessed a shop or store, I'd drive the grouches off my floor. I'd never let some gloomy guy offend the folks who came to buy. I'd never keep a boy or clerk with mental toothache at his work, nor let a man who draws my pay drive customers of mine away. I'd treat the man who takes my time and spends a nickel or a dime with courtesy and make him feel that I was pleased to close the deal. Because tomorrow, who can tell, he may want stuff I have to sell. And in that case, then glad he'll be to spend his dollars all with me. The reason people pass one door to patronize another store is not because the busier place has better silks or gloves or lace or cheaper uh, prices. The reason lies in pleasant words and smiling eyes. The real trade magnet, I believe, is just the treatment folks receive. It is good business to be fair, to keep a bright and cheerful air about the place and not to show your customers how much you know. Whatever any patron did, I try to keep my temper hid and never let him spread along the word that I had done him wrong. By Edgar A. Guest, of all names. So I sold this book, The Romance of Selling, for 1999. When, when was this book printed? What is the publication date of this? 1930. 98 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> um, 92 years ago. Wait. I am really blanking on my math right now. Hold on. Anyway, close to 100 years. I'm tired. Um, so yeah, this is one of the items that I sold today on eBay. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm Andrew from 510 Books. I'm here in the back of my bookstore in my back room, and I am uh, shipping off some stuff, even though it's later in the day, later in the afternoon, that will go out tomorrow. Uh, this is stuff that sold in the last 24 hours. So today is Friday, uh, March 18th, 2022. And I had my sale today. It was um, on the slower side, but okay. There were some good things that happened, which I'll mention ideally in a video tomorrow. I did get some donations, but I'll hold off on those, uh, talking about those in this video. Um, I did want to talk about some of the things that I sold on eBay and some of the thoughts I had about, about what's going on with my local sale. Um, like I've talked about in the past, it's unpredictable. It's erratic. Some days are better than others. Some weekends are better than others. Um, I try to just stay focused on the long game, on the on the marathon of it, and just keep plugging away and little by little gaining traction and uh, growing it as much as I can. And I totally understand that, even though I totally understand that it's a long game, that if in six months, a year, however long, uh, if and when, I have double, triple the amount of people coming in on a consistent basis. Let's even say double the amount of people consistently every single weekend that I have right now. Um, that even if and when that happens, doesn't mean that I'm still not going to get frustrated right now with not hitting those goals yet. But that's fine. I had new people come today. As long as I have new people coming today and, and, and some um, repeat customers, I'm pretty content. Uh, some some days are going to be better than others. We'll see about tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, unfortunately, I will close for two hours in the middle of the day um, to go and see my son play soccer for the first time. But uh, I'll be back after that to reopen. Um, 
so I sold six items on on uh, eBay in the last 24 hours and one uh, merchant fulfilled item on um, on Amazon. So uh, that happened. I didn't have any huge sales like I did the other day, uh, but some solid ones. This one is fascinating to me. Uh, the romance of selling. Did you ever think that selling was romantic? Uh, this used to be a huge you know, profession, especially in the 30s, uh, for a lot of men. Um, let's see. The other things that I sold. This actually sold. Let me look. Um, this is an old book here called Bunk. B-U-N-K. It's in very rough condition. And the copyright is 1923 by W.E. Woodward. I believe it's fiction. Bunk. I actually sold this about a week ago, but the person didn't pay me until today. Sold for $27. When that doesn't happen very often. Rarely does that happen. Rarely. I usually just, just wait it out. Uh, usually they eventually pay. After about a week, I will um, I will typically just close it out. Sometimes I forget about it, but I'll typically just um, cancel the sale rather, not close it out, cancel the sale and uh, relist the item. But usually people pay within a week, but again, it, it does not happen too, too often. So I just, just let it go for a little bit. Um, if they don't pay me within a day or so, I invoice them. And you know, most people will pay right away after that, after getting the invoice, but some people still do not. And there's a variety of reasons, I'm sure. I also sold this, where did this? Oh, this was a donation. So Anne Rice, this was a um, lot of three of her books. This is actually erotica. I didn't know she wrote erotica, but here's from a series called Beauty's Punishment. What is it? Beauty's Release and Be the Claiming of Sleeping Beauty. So Sleeping Beauty and Erotica. And it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Again, these were donations. I believe I mentioned these in a previous video. I do remember talking about them. Uh, let's see. Another thing that sold is a sealed Willie Nelson Sweet Memories long box CD. This sold, I took an offer, this sold for $15, free shipping. I listed this very recently. This was a donation, I believe. Actually, this might have been, I don't know, this is actually probably in all of those books I bought a couple years ago in the storage unit that led me to leasing out this bookstore and slowly working on getting it towards, uh, uh, moving it towards opening it. But anyway, that was in there and this sold, but I hadn't uh, listed it. Uh, I just recently did and that sold for 15 bucks so that was good another sale was a um, DVD lot of uh, what are they my little pony uh, and there were eight of them and that sold for 19.99 plus shipping one of them was sealed was this uh, has a toy in there along with a DVD so that kind of I'm sure helped seal the deal on that one so I continue to get some of those uh, DVD lot sales on eBay, the ones that I <clears throat> listed a little while back, and they keep trickling in, trickling in. I'm sure over time I will end up selling most of them. I'll keep you guys appraised of that. There was another CD lot that sold that I just listed like two days ago, and I couldn't find it in the warehouse. It's just three CDs from one band. Um, hate when that happens, but, uh, sometimes it does happen. And I guess tomorrow I will look for it again, go through everything with a fine tooth comb because it, you know, from time to time that does happen, but hopefully I don't have to refund it. Hopefully I will find, um, find the CDs. Um, so yeah, so decent sales over the last 24 hours. Um, and which is fine with me. Okay. Day at, at the, at the warehouse, but when you combine 24 hour sales and today sales pretty good pretty good um i had <laughs> so rarely do, do people ever come back with stuff they've bought saying it doesn't work hardly ever happens um i always make sure to look at all the discs specifically talking about uh, dvds and cds and some video games as well um i always make sure and look at them uh, and resurface them if I if I need to. And I just traded up to a new Eco Pro 2, so it's working really well, as it should, because it's new. 
and um, <clears throat> excuse me, and so I'm able to clean up this really well right now. But anyway, I rarely have anybody that comes in and does that. But uh, you know, sometimes you have challenging customers, and I feel like you have to, you know, try to deal with them in a nice way, like the courtesy poem said in the romance of selling um, and not get upset at them or frustrated with them and just try to work with them because people have all kinds of life situations. So that happened today without getting into any specifics, uh, just generally speaking, uh, when something like that happens, which is very uncommon for me, um, you know, I try to deal with it, try to, you know, treat people fairly and if someone's insistent, try to work something out with them, and it usually ends up working out. Um, I had a bunch of donations today. I'll talk about that in the next video. And uh, I oh, I was able to list some other stuff on eBay, which was great. Went through a bunch of stuff that I got donated. I'm starting to build up some CD, loose CD lots and loose DVD lots for eBay. Um, I'll talk more about that in the next video. Yeah, so overall, it was a good day. Um, oh, another thing I'm, I'm considering doing is starting a newsletter or email list is more appropriate, an email list that I will uh, collect as people come into the store and use that as a way to communicate with people directly to come to my local sale. And also my thought was to drop in um, some like unique, higher priced uh, eBay items that I listed recently and offer those at a lower price because they're local and they can just pick it up versus, you know, having to ship it and all that stuff and de deal with fees and everything. Um, so that's another thought that I've had. Also, just the difference between, you know, having basically my followers are all through Facebook um, and trying to switch over at least some of them those that want to um, have them join the newsletter, the email list, so that I can email them, um, you know, about upcoming sales and stuff listed on eBay and that kind of thing, just as a way to to protect myself. If anything happens with gets funky with Facebook or they change anything, um, I would lose all of those almost a thousand followers on Facebook. I will continue to do Facebook because it has enabled me to grow following and a customer base and I post you know new items that I'm listing in my or new items that I have for sale in my store and it does bring people in for those so I will continue to use it but I think it's good to have an email list as a backup and actually to end to have it end up becoming the primary so that um, it's more direct you know just because someone follows my page or likes my page doesn't mean they're always going to see what I post on there um, because they just might not see it, even if they're on Facebook, or they might not go on Facebook that much. Some people hardly ever go on there, you know, that kind of thing. So even though I have 900, like 40 or whatever followers on Facebook on my page, you know, whenever I post something, I only get maybe anywhere between like a little over 100 to 200 plus people of those people that actually see it, just see the post. However, if I send an email directly to their email account, um, they'll be able to see it immediately on their phone. Well, most people check on their phone, but or on their computer. It goes, it's like going right into their pocket, right into their, in front of them. They're going to see it. So anyway, so that's something I'm probably going to, uh, definitely going to start working on, um, doing it through Square because it kind of works seamlessly. When people check out, I can just say, oh, hey, do you want to join our, our uh, email list? Uh, we're, you know, we're going to send out information about new items for sale, that kind of thing. Um, see what happens. Doesn't hurt. Uh, all right, guys. So I'm going to get to printing out the rest of these and move on with the day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Talk about reselling books and media online and in person. See you in the next video. Take care.